Well, I think the reason that aromatherapy is trending now more than ever before is because there are more people cycling to work, there are more people looking for wellness, there are more people looking for balance, um, and people are, are, are prioritising their health first. So they are looking for ways to sleep better, to find calm, to find balance, and actually, as soon as you take a product off the shelf with the intention to change how you feel, you then own the next step. The first way and the easiest way to buy into that is to use topical products and take yourself on a sensory journey. What you smell is what you need. So essential oils go straight into the olfactory system through sense of smell, so inhaling them through the soft tissue. Um, they're clinically proven to change how you feel for six to eight hours. So um, whether it be you know, a calming product, uh, an energizing product, uh, a soothing product, um, a comforting product. Um, there are lots of different essential oils. Aromatherapy has been used for thousands and thousands of years to, to heal ailments. I think now we're talking more about how to be less stressed, how to find balance in 21st century living and I think that's what people are looking for now, so helping to sleep better. Now it's, it's it's okay to admit that you can't sleep well, it's okay to say that actually I only get four to five hours sleep a night but I really need seven to eight. It's okay to say you're stressed. Um, in, in, years ago we used to say we were stressed because it was a sign of success. Now we know that we need to take control of it um, and look after our emotional, physical and mental well-being through the power of touch, through the power of room therapy, through the power of mindfulness apps, and through the power of our well-being experts. But now it's more about self-care is your health care. Um, well, if you were looking at individual oils to sleep, you'd be looking at the vetiver and the chamomiles and the lavenders. For us, we have we have several blends. Um, we have de-stress mind, which is a great is a great product, um, great for the workplace. We have um, brief support, so really really good blends. But for focus, it's frankincense for de-stressing the mind. That is a single in ingredient. But we have ten fabulous oils that can really help you in wellness in the workplace. And actually, when you come and see us or you read about us, what you smell is what you need. So it's very easy to be prescriptive and say, okay, I'm going to take a lavender because that's going to help me sleep. But there might be ten other things going on. So it's really, really advantageous if you're buying, if you're looking to take advice on singular notes, smell them first. Go on that sensory journey. Just ask the assistant to tell you. Um, you tell them what the problem is and then they'll put singular notes out and you smell them. Don't look at what, what they're called. Um, I think for spas and small businesses it's really thinking about educating your staff on how to have conversations on wellness. Um, so if you were to use our brand for example, we have a panel of wellbeing experts that can help you and we have um, you know, frequently asked questions. I think that we have to look after the industry, so we have to look after the therapists that are now doing eight massages a day and feeling the, the tension and the stress, so we have a duty of care to do that. I think that you know, through aromatherapy, any type of aromatherapy, sandalwood is grounding, frankincense is uh, um, grounding, balancing, de-stressing. Uh, lavender is calming, but actually it's, you need to find someone that's going to help pull it all together for you. And so aromatherapy has the power to change how you feel for six to eight hours. What I want to do as well is change how people think. So if we change how people think for the other 18 hours of the day, then actually you've got 24 hours in the art of living well. <laughs>